China has ushered in a new era. It now is tasked with bringing a better life to its people, which a term China Plus epitomizes. To achieve the China Plus, it has to begin with China minus poverty. In just over 30 years, China has managed to lift 700 million people out of poverty, a milestone in human history of fighting poverty. The country vows that by the year 2020, all rural residents living below the current poverty line will be lifted out of poverty. When you talk about a, a new era, we're talking about China moving from what it's spent the last 38 years doing, which is moving 700 million people out of poverty, moving 700 million people essentially off of the countryside into cities and towns. In the next three years, China will lift 40 million people out of poverty, which means every three seconds we see one person out of poverty. Quietly, change is taking place. It's one of China's most remote and pristine areas. Here lives the Dulong, one of China's ethnic minority groups. Their hometown was the last ethnic minority area to be connected to the modern road system. Every morning at 8 a.m., Long Jinping, captain of the road maintenance team, sets out for road patrol. This road means a lot to him. Snowfall blocks access to valley for six months a year, isolating locals. Six years ago, Long's wife had trouble delivering her baby. Because they were trapped by snow, the baby died. In April 2014, snow as usual blanketed the valley, but cars were able to go out for the first time in harsh weather, thanks to the completion of a tunnel. On the first day, the road being operational, a seriously burned Dulong girl was rushed to hospital through the tunnel. Since the tunnel was completed, a total of 26 pregnant women have been sent through to safe delivery. This makes Long Jinping very happy. A road can take one across the barrier of remote mountains. Like blood vessels, roads are for life, as well as for wealth. Lamadi Village is located in Lisu Autonomous Prefecture of New Jiang, southwest China's Yunnan province. The New Jiang River divides the village into two parts, with a mere rope bridge connecting them. Inconvenient transportation seriously hindered the development of the village. <laughs> Over the past four years, the Chinese government kept fight against poverty, had a prominent position on its agenda. Change starts with building bridges. Cao Ko, a plant used for traditional Chinese medicine, after Si Yo began planting it under the guidance of the local government. He earns nearly 9,000 US dollars a year. Once the bridge was completed, CEO became a truck driver. At CEO's village, more and more new houses are being built. He opened a brick factory, bringing money to both himself and his fellow villagers. 
，付了钱就是偷了财路一样，什么都偷了。Now that people have outbound roads built, they can go out of their remote hometowns and work, changing their lives for the better. Casi 60 millones de personas han salido de la pobreza en los últimos años y eso es muy impresionante porque no solo en solo palabras sino hechos también. This is 4 a.m. at Shili Village. Locals start the day at dawn. For long, the two cows bring him the hope of casting off poverty. Local authorities implemented beef rearing program with a governmental subsidy of about 1,500 U.S. dollars. And his own 900 U.S. dollars, Long purchased two cows of improved breed. Now both are pregnant. The poor areas are getting help through different channels. Through honest hard work, people see hope of getting rid of poverty. As a proverb goes, give a man a fish, and you feed him for a day. Teach him to fish, and you feed him for a lifetime. Industry is the basis for wealth increase and a guarantee to shake off poverty. People in the city of Jinggangshan are trying to help folks help themselves. Li Iping has a big extended family. Most of his relatives are poor and in need of his help. In 2011, Li Iping invested about 600,000 US dollars in cold water fish farm and restaurant in town of Changping. The farm lies in remote mountainous areas, raising rainbow trout and golden trout in clean spring water, free of pollution. The fish are well received in market. Now we have directly provided a job for 30 years. Of course, we have also let some farmers, let some farmers, and let them come to our own. And then we have given them a different way. And then we have given them a different way. Zheng Wan Yin is 63 years old. His poverty-stricken household of seven had only a mud hut to live in. Zheng's wife had been sick for a long time. He has long been heavily in debt. When Li Ping started his fish farm, Zheng began to learn fish farming techniques from Li. With the money he earned from the program and some governmental subsidies, Zhong built a new house for his family. He also plans to launch his own fish farm project. The development of China in the last, uh, in, in, in the last several decades, which has accelerated in the last five years, is nothing short of a, of a miracle, primarily for the Chinese people. It's often said that Chinese 
that China has brought more people out of poverty uh, faster than any time in American history. And so China is a huge success story. That's great for China. It's great for the Chinese people. It's also great for the world. Shandong Village is a national rural tourism pilot village. It used to be an inaccessible small mountain village. To take care of his blind mother, Villager Wang Daochuan had to stay in the village. Also isolated is the traditional tea-growing village. Due to limited access to information, tea was easy to plant but hard to sell. To get rid of poverty requires innovation and new ideas. In 2014, Shandong Village adopted a new model of custom-made tea plantation. In place of selling tea, villagers sold tea plantations, which attracted many customers. A tea factory opened near Wang Daochuan's home. Since then, Wang Dao Chuan can earn a living while taking care of his mother. Been a, extremely uh, positive, especially over the last few years. Uh, the poverty reduction program is unprecedented. Uh, it was uh, initially a uh, is relatively impoverished country with a great culture, uh, but has worked its way up to become one of the most important uh, uh, economic producers and cultural nations in the world today, thanks to the Communist Party. Early morning, Wang Zhiqiang rushed to do grocery shopping. Huo Mao Village in Guizhou Province's Zunyi City used to be called a wasteland due to its remote location and poverty. In 2006, Wang Jiqiang returned to his home village after 20 years of being a migrant worker. In 2012, 
the town saw roads built in every village. Since then, the villages have put on a new look. Hua Mao villagers want to not only modernize their village, but also retain their rural heritage. The once forgotten pottery also saw rebirth. Heritage preservation has been the name card of Hua Mao Village. Since 2015, over 400 villagers have returned from the cities to work in the village. In 2016, Hua Mao Village saw its annual income per capita reach nearly 2,000 US dollars. Of course, in the course of reducing poverty, there are always some thorny issues to deal with. Some places are too formidable to live in. Wang Yuyun's family has been living in Wang Fu Go village for generations. Wang Chinese, Sindalitsa,什么就,什么就,什么就,什么就,什么就,什么就,什么就,什么就,什么就,什么就,什么就,什么就,什么就,什么就,什么就,什么就,什么就,什么就,什么就,什么就,什么就,什么就,什么就,
believing that he was destined to live in the mountains for his lifetime. In 2015, Gansu province began carrying out the ecological migration of people out of the mountains. Some 20,000 people living in the remote mountains departed their terrible living environment. Each and every household is planning their future and learning new skills. <laughs> now that Hui's application for two greenhouses has been approved, he decided to find a job at the construction site of the new village. This is one of the great stories um, in, in human history, frankly. Um, starting in 1990 with the evolution of the Chinese uh, economic system and its embrace of, uh, of uh, the market, uh, the global market, uh, China has lifted over 800 million people out of poverty. And so most of the progress that's been made in going from 40% of the world living in extreme poverty to now less than 10%, most of that progress happened in China. And so we're always looking for the lessons uh, uh, from, from that experience. You know, the, the new era in China is a new era for the world. It will have an impact way beyond China's borders. The Chinese government states that each and every one of the over 1.3 billion Chinese people should lead decent lives. China's achievements in poverty reduction drew attention to the international community. Dealing with poverty requires joint efforts from individuals, nations, as well as the world. China is offering its solution to other countries in hope that the world's tomorrow will be more beautiful.